The former president Jacob Zuma's deadline to be arrested just over five hours away. He's made a last ditch attempt to avoid imprisonment. His legal team has written to the constitutional court to delay his arrest until the outcome of his uh, case is announced. That's uh, the rescission, uh, rather, the uh, t on Friday. We're due to hear uh, from the Peter Maritzburg High Court. The Peter Maritzburg High Court, of course, has reserved judgment in his attempt uh, to have his stay of arrest um, halted. But of course, he's also due uh, to apply for a rescission uh, at the Constitutional Court on Monday to overturn. Uh, his imprisonment. ENCA senior reporter Avi Untia joins me now from outside Durban's Westville prison, which is where we expect the former president to be taken. What time do those gates behind you close, Avi Ware? Well, Sally, less than five minutes' time, you can expect the gates of the Westville Correctional Centre to be closed. In fact, 7 p.m. is the time that they close. All the inmates, as we speak, have been counted and their cells locked. So that begs the question, will the former president still be admitted if he is to be arrested tonight? And I had a quick call with Singaba Kongumalo, the Correctional Services National Spokesperson, who tells me that they cannot deny an order of the court. So at whatever time, even mentioning if it's at 3 a.m., uh, they will have to um, accept him in. Um, he'll be accompanied by the security personnel. But at this stage, they do not know what to expect. If if he, indeed he will be arrested as they can't be seen to be interfering with the process. So from their side, they can only start uh, being operational, functional in terms of accepting the former president if he does come here. Yeah? From the moment that he comes in accompanied by the police, there they'll need the J7 form, which is also the warrant of arrest form. Um, and then from there on, given about seven hours just to do your medical checks, your mental checks, and also just the risk assessment um, in order to be able to adequately allocate a cell for him and um, the type of cells because you'd understand that uh, the prison itself is divided into three sections which is high risk medium as well as the low risk in terms of um, depending on the sentence that you under understand it's a 15 month sentence for the former president so those will be some of the mitigating um, factors when considering which section to put him in you understand he's an elderly man as well so he can't be in a behind bars with 20 30 or 40 year olds so he's most likely going to be in the low-risk section of the Westville Correctional Services Center once he comes here. All right, and, and it, it's interesting you, you mentioned Singabako Ngomalo, who of course speaks for uh, the Department of Correctional Services, uh, and, and we know that prison inmates over 60, and we see those gates closing right now behind you, uh, Aviwe, so it's almost 7 o'clock. Um, we know that, of course, um, that risky prisoners, prisoners at risk are looked after. Does Westville Prison have a hospital section? So those are part of the mitigating um, uh, factors that are considering upon arrival here. So they look at um, his medical check. It has to be done within um, six hours upon arrival where they medically examine him for his mental wealth as well, as well as the risk assessment of the prison. So mm -hmm. um, depending on there, then they'll be able to adequately allocate right. where, which section um, for him to go to. You'd, you'd understand that the high risk section uh -huh, is uh -huh. highly guarded, unlike the the low risk section where there are plenty of yeah. elderly people, um, Sally. All right, well, those gates have now closed. Thank you so much, Avi Wemtila, coming to us from Durban's Westville prison this evening. That was